Unfortunately, this week's BS report is about the Atlanta Braves bullpen, which has not been a very good story for the Braves so far this season. They continue to have struggles, and of course, Tuesday night was a disaster. The Braves were up big in this game, and then they came back and tied the game, and then boom, ninth inning again, the bullpen gave up the lead. Arizona hit a home run and won the game big time with a big ninth inning. This is an ongoing problem for this team that just seems to not go away, and now Three of the four pitchers who were expected to be the top relief pitchers for the Braves going into the season are on the injured list. Aroides Viscano, he's out. He's been the closer, of course. Darren O'Day, the pitcher they got from Baltimore last year in the Kevin Gossman deal, he hasn't pitched yet. He pitched one game in spring training and then had a forearm issue. And, of course, now Johnny Venters, after his rough start, is on the injured list. They are really worried about him. The only one of those top four who are now on the active roster is A.J. Minter. He's the one who blew the game on Tuesday night, and he just got off the injured list. So this is a bad situation with this bullpen right now. Chad Tabaka, one of the young pitchers who they hoped would step up and really do the job in the bullpen, has struggled. His ERA is now 11.05 in eight games, and he struggled on Tuesday night. Look, this is going to be an ongoing problem, and the problem that is so apparent, obvious, is that Craig Kimball is still out there. The free agent closer, who, of course, came up with the Braves back in 2010, is somehow still available as a free agent. I, I don't know what the problem is or why it's lingering on. Well, I do. It's called money. But if any team needs Craig Kimball, it's the Atlanta Braves. And Tuesday night proved that once again. Now, the other problem with that is it's now mid-April. If Craig Kimball signs today with the Braves, how long is it going to take him to get ready for the season and to pitch in a regular season game. Two weeks, we're talking about May. So how much good is that going to do for the Braves? Well, you know what? It would do better than what happened on Tuesday night because you got another great starting rotation performance by Max Freed. He continues to do well, and the bullpen came in immediately and blew the lead. And this just cannot continue to happen because this is a good team. They're scoring runs. They're getting good starting pitching. But the biggest problem is the bullpen. And why wasn't this addressed during the offseason. Why wasn't this addressed in mid-January instead of mid-April? It's too late. And unfortunately, they spent $23 million on a third baseman that they did not need. Johan Camargo is doing pretty well, don't you think? He's got 10 runs batted in so far, moving around from right to left to third to short. Josh Donaldson, the third baseman who they brought in to replace Johan Camargo, has two home runs and three runs batted in. And that's it. They could have spent that money on relief pitching, and instead they got a position player they really didn't need. So the bullpen needs to get back on track because this has a chance to be a very good team. But the bullpen is going to be the Achilles heel if it doesn't straighten out real quick or unless they go and sign Craig Kimball sometime soon.